it's a long story, but ba basically I was looking after a band, um, I was the drummer in a band called Murder Dolls, which was 2003, and we supported Iron Maiden and, and on a summer tour. So I met Nico then, the rest of the Iron Maiden crew, and then the, uh, his drum tech then, Pete Clark, told me he was retiring. He said, I'm the only guy he'd recommend, and then the rest of the Iron Maiden crew said, yeah, get Charlie. And because I met Nico and we got on, we got on well, so I, just, I got the call in 2005. Well, on a normal, like an, like an arena show like today, I, I mean, our call today was 10.30. Uh, the backline call, it's just going to give time for the lights and everything to get in first and set. Um, so we come in, when the gear is on the, the arena floor, so what I'll do then is, if I'm not changing heads, which is every five shows, then it'll be like, you know, cleaning symbols, cleaning generally stuff, like changing the snare head, which I do every, every show. Any maintenance needs doing. And then we'll probably get a stage around about 12 30 one o'clock build the kit takes about an hour it's got to be bang on for nico you know to the millimeter check the tuning then we today was good we, we were early today so we did a line check around about three o'clock which is good the band don't sound check we the back line guys do and that's it if it's um if it's a festival then we're going really early like six in the morning because we have to, we have to, be, we have the stage clear by usually by nine, so the rest of the bands on the bill can get their gear on and whatever. So that's that's a long day. But generally, yeah, that's it. That's that's the general day. Then after the show, pack it all down, put it on the truck, move on. Just I mean, I the way we all film them, you know, I sit there so I can see Nico. Um, for, over the more recent years, we started. He has a metro now, so he's just you know he's just so he knows he's where he is. And I have that on a remote, so every song I'll be, I can cue in the metro for each song. Just generally just keep an eye out if anything, you know, if anything moves. But generally, if anything, if there is any major catastrophes, then you know Nico will let me know. We'll get a shout, and I'm just there to jump in and sort whatever he's doing. But fingers crossed. Most of the time, I just like a nice, probably the most sport is the power ride, power side ride. That's I mean, that's his signature style. But the, the workhorse would be these, the 17 rood. That's the one that gets battered all the time. So if any of the symbols would, you know, would, would break, that's, uh, I always have a lot of those. But that is his, 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 his little ride and it's just there. That's the main one. And it, being the rood, it cuts right through. And the great, you know, it's a great symbol, but that's the ride main one and then the rood and probably the 18 as well. The only thing Nick has got is he's got a warm-up kit. We have a, you know, on a production corridor, it, it'll always do five, ten minutes on the warm-up kit. That's about it, really. You know, there's nothing, there's no, we don't have any sort of rituals or anything, it just comes up. Just, you know, with the start of Doctor Doctor, which we always play. You know, just sit in here, have a chat, whatever, and he just gets up and plays. It's just, it's just the way it is. There's no, we don't have any rituals or anything like that. That's Johnny Nicole's choice, but he's, he's up. Ever since I've been with him, he's always had his signatures, the reflected ones, these. On the, um, the first Legacy tour we did, which was, I think it was 2019, because of all the black hardware on the kit, he went with the black symbols, which were, um, apart from the ride, we had to, we only blacked out the back side of that, because it was really, really dry. So this side is like this, the back side was like all of us, but yeah, it was, it was quite a dry sound. That's, that's the only time I've used different symbols with really. it. It's nearly always the signatures. The only thing that might change is the, is the, the colour of the, the print. So the blue on this, but these are the ones. I've played drums in bands for just, you know, since the 80s. I've always used Paisley. I used to use uh, 2002s. They're my favourite. I just didn't have, you know, I tried Zild and I tried Say all those back in the day, but I personally have always had Paisley. And Nick, I was to say, he's just like, you know, he's been with you forever. Uh, I, I personally, I think they're the best symbols. That's the reason why. The first legacy we had, um, we started with the black gong. Then we went to the one, the four chips, which has got the rose window pattern design, which matches the rose window on the backdrop and the rose window drum head from graphic skin. Then when we went to that hell bit, I got rid of that and a red gong went up. But for this one, he's had this gong with 50 inch, specially painted by John Douglas. So this starts the show. On the first changeover, the other gong was the 40 inch with the rose window. 
that goes up. And then the end of Iron Maid and the main set, we swap them back again to the end of the show. The only one that pops to mind, which is actually only happened the other week, and I can't believe this happened, was the show started, and literally it, two bars in, Nico shouts, he's just doing this. And I'm looking, I go, I look round, I've not put the china out. Oh, I've never done that ever. So I was like, oh my God. So I quickly got it, come behind while he's playing, put it back, put it there, and went off. And then a couple of songs later, he shouts me again, and he's just playing it going, like, and afterwards he said, he said we should keep that symbol. I, I mean, that, but I couldn't believe I did that. But he took it really, he was actually very good about it. A few years ago, But yeah, that's but, but generally, we don't, we, there's no thing, we've never had problems with price. You know, everything's always great. The family are great. We, we get really looked after. So, yeah.